Hello, and welcome to How Tech Tutorials. In this video, we will cover how you can use the PMT function in Excel. The PMT function helps you calculate payments that you, as the borrower, would have to make against a loan. Let's say you're getting financing for $200,000 with an annual rate of 5%, no down payment, and tenure of 20 years. At the end, you have a balloon payment of $50,000. The balloon payment here is negative because in cash flow terms, you would be paying out this amount at the end. Therefore, this will be deducted from your account. Similarly, the borrowed amount here is positive because you will be getting this amount once the loan is approved. So, let's calculate the monthly payment using the PMT function. First, Let's select the cell here next to Monthly Payments and click on the Function icon. In the pop-up window, search PMT and select it from the results here. Over here, we have five arguments that will help us calculate our monthly payments. First is the rate, which will be the interest rate for the loan. For this calculation to work, you need to maintain a standard unit meaning if you include the annual rate here, then the subsequent period should be annual as well. Since we want to calculate monthly payments, let's select the monthly rate, which is simply dividing the annual rate by 12. Next, let's move to NPER, which is the total number of payments that are made. In this case, it will be one payment for each month. Therefore, let's select the cell with total months here. Present value is the total amount being financed, so let's select the loan amount here. Next is the future value section, which helps account for the cash balance or balloon payment that we would be paying out at the end of our financing tenure. So, let's select this cell over here. If you don't have a balloon payment in your calculation, you can leave it blank. Last of all, you have the type. There are cases where payments are required to be made at the beginning of each month. For example, when calculating leases, etc. In that case, you can enter 1 over here. Loan payments are usually at the end of the period, so we can leave it blank. Now, simply click on OK and the function will automatically calculate the monthly payments. And that's it! Which Excel function would you like to know more about? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And make sure to press the bell button to be the first to know about our new videos.